Hello and welcome to this Edexcel Further Statistics 1 video calculating probabilities from the geometric distribution. This slide just recaps what we did in the previous video and gives you the definition of the geometric distribution. And remember that with a geometric distribution, the one parameter is the probability P of success at any one trial. P is constant and the trials must be independent. And if the random variable X is distributed geometrically, X represents the number of independent trials necessary before the first success occurs. And the first discrete outcome possible for x is x equals 1. So if we now look at an example, it's a scenario you've met before in the previous video. We are looking at finding the probability that a student has to ask six friends before one has a success, before one guesses correctly a particular day of the week. So in our solution, if we set up the parameter involved and the random variable, clearly P, the probability of a success, is 1 in 7, 1 seventh. And X, the random variables, will represent the number of trials necessary for a success, for that day to be guessed correctly. And in this particular instance, we wish to obtain the probability that x equals 6. And just using the probability formula, we are simply going to get p multiplied by 1 minus p to the 6 minus 1. And that gives us 1 seventh multiplied by 6 sevenths to the power 5. That's quite an awkward fraction, so it would be more appropriate in this case to give the solution as a decimal correct to three significant figures, so 0 0.0661. So if we now look at a different example, this one involves throwing a double when two dice are thrown and we are required to find the probability that a player starts this game so obtains a double within four attempts. So again with the solution, if we identify the parameter P and the random variable, P clearly equals 1 6, probability of throwing double. But this time we don't just require the probability that x equals 4. We want to start within four attempts and therefore we could have achieved success on the first attempt, the second attempt, the third attempt or the fourth attempt. And so we have a few probabilities to evaluate and sum. Probability x equals 1, so we obtain success on the first trial, is just going to be 1 6. On the second trial, 1 6 multiplied by 1 minus 1 6, so 5 6 to the power 2 minus 1. On the third trial, 1 6 multiplied by 1 minus 1 6 to the power 3 minus 1 and on the fourth trial 1 6 multiplied by 1 minus 1 6 to the power 4 minus 1 and again that is quite a nasty fraction so it would be appropriate to give that solution as a decimal correct to three significant figures. 
And those of you who are thinking, Ooh, there's quite a lot of probabilities to work out there, isn't there a cleverer way I can do it? You could always think of the opposite event to what we have been asked to find. So the opposite of achieving success at one, two, three or four trials would be the probability that the number of trials required is greater than four and if we subtract that from one that will give us the required probability and you could try that one out for yourselves. The next example is going to look at an example where you're asked to find the probability of having more than a particular number of events. So this example is still using um, the probability of a success as being the probability of obtaining a double. So if we set up our solution, P, the probability um, of obtaining success, is going to be 1 6th, where P represents the event we throw a double, and X, our random variable, is going to be uh, the number of attempts required uh, in order to obtain a double. And what we are required to work out here is the probability that x is greater than 5. And you could think of that as 1 minus the probability that x is less than or equal to 5, but then you'd have a lot of probabilities to evaluate and sum. So it's much simpler just to think what does the probability that x is greater than 5 mean? And that simply means we must have had five failures because we need more than five attempts before we get a success. And if we must have had five failures, that means that the probability that we're interested in is the probability of five failures and that's simply one minus p to the power five or 5 sixths to the power 5. Five successive failures, so we must have to have five, more than five attempts before we're going to achieve a success. And again, that's quite an awkward fraction, but easily evaluated as a decimal and give your answer correct to three significant figures. So whenever you have a geometric distribution model and you have to find the probability of more than particular number of trials before a success, it's always good to think what that actually means. And in this case, more than five trials means we must have had five failures to need to go on to another trial. And that's the end of this video. The next video will look at further probabilities with the geometric distribution.